ALPS stands for autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndromes and is a disease which is, uh, uh, has a clear categorization with the clinical uh, symptoms and with some also genetic background and so you have a kind of a, um, item list to fulfill and if a number of these criteria are fulfilled you get the ALPS diagnosis so it's a descriptive diagnosis so we, we know what it is but we don't know what is not uh, so uh, after, having, after having initiated to, uh, to study ALPS patients we uh, discovered uh, in our centers uh, where we have the national registry for this disease that there are patients not completely overlapping the classical phenotype of ALPS. And uh, so we investigated them and we did not find in these patients the same genetic lesion which are known to characterize the ALPS phenotype which are FAS, FAS like and caspase mutations. And so, uh, and this is important because I mean, you may differentiate uh, those who looks like ALPS but are not really ALPS and may also benefit from different treatment. And this is the content of the poster we have here today at the EHA.